in this episode, we're gonna install the Warwolf 525. Um, it's capable of E85 and support like, I believe it's 550 horsepower, wheel horsepower, from Precision Raceworks. They provide you with the drill bees and the slips to mount it on the stock basket for the Volkswagen GTI Mark 7. You done? We're gonna need some pick tools so we can start taking it apart. See all the wiring. I mark negative because all the wire, the, both wire positive and negative are black. So I put negative. We're gonna take this apart and see you in a few minutes or seconds. Watch him walking right now. <laughs> I'm just gonna take this out. Mm -hmm. Look okay, for the so what? I'll take care of it. Um. It's more complicated than we think. <laughs> Everything's more complicated than we think. It's not required to. to Got him sweating. It's not required to mention. All the heat from the cameras. It's not required. No. Yeah, you're right. I think they know it's. And I said, who bought this for me? <laughs> <laughs> I like that. It's a nice set. Who got that for me? That's really nice. Hi, this is yeah. Let's go in for J on JR14. And if um, if you're watching this, you know, uh, if you're watching this, well, what, what Felipe said. <laughs> We're installing a Precision Racework Wabro 525, capable of 550 wheel horsepower. And it is also, it also supports E85. This thing comes with basically a uh, uh, bolt on, basically a little bit. I'm gonna say it's about a three in, you know, so between three, you know, one and five, zero and five, it's about a three because you do have to use a drill, drill bits, um, install stuff. Oh, actually, now I'm gonna say it's a five because it comes with no instructions, but it has a whole bunch of shit. So, so you have to figure it out as you go along. But you know, you know, it, I think that's just the fun of it. So, um, so we're, we're, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna come back to this in a little bit. And this is Felipe at European Auto. Felipe <laughs> built, Felipe built a European Auto. Yeah, right, rock out. And we're basically putting in this, uh, this wall, bro which, you know, should have been done two hours ago. What's taking so long, Felipe? Oh, yeah, he's supposed to be Yeah, he's the one that's supposed to be here recording? Yeah. Well, he, uh -huh. he took a vacation. He's in Aruba right now. Yeah, what's up? Of the what? No, it never had one. Really? Yeah. Can I zoom in on you? I think you can. Yeah, I can. <laughs> we are now disconnect everything. Like we detach everything. So we have to get the, like the pump assembly itself from out of the basket. So they provide you with the, these two drill bits and three like sleeves right here. So what I believe this is for, we're gonna drill. I don't know if you can see it, you can see it right here. We're gonna drill these holes right here. That one, that one, and this one over there with the smaller drill that is Right now, to get the, uh, the plastic uh, the rivets yeah. out, the OEM stuff. Uh, I recommend to wear eye protection on this. Yeah, I recommend to wear eye I protection. I just don't give up. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
So we recommend to take the float out of the way. You just reconnect it, take a picture before you take it out because it goes in a specific way. So just take a picture before taking it off and get that out of the way. So now we're gonna continue. <laughs> we're gonna continue. Ooh, smells like fuel. <laughs> gonna continue. What was that? Cheers. <laughs> Okay, so at this time, Felipe already it seems like he already got everything disassembled. Yes, I did show up late. No, it was not because I was on vacation in Aruba. It was because I was working a little bit late and I, my time got away with me. Also, um, I had to rewrap the steering wheel for Project Mark 7 so that I can deliver it back to the shop. So this way they have the complete assembly of the steering wheel so they could put everything back together. So Felipe went ahead and disassembled the main unit from the bottom of the basket drilled everything out that he needed to drill so we can add the adapter spacers in so the new Warbro 525 can fit in shout out to a day for actually going ahead and filming that process for me considering the fact that i was not available to show up earlier to get everything done this is when i was talking about felipe actually getting a little bit annoyed because of the fact that the, they're trying to get the car done and i'm trying to film so i do apologize guys for being late but oh we are here so let's continue with the process right now let's go So, what are you doing? I'm notching the part of the back of here. So this is modified. So this is part number twenty-one. So this is the last. Is this the last page of the kit? Um, no. No. The last page is like installing. Oh yeah. Okay. So. So you have to modify to fit the uh, the new pump. Yeah. Gotcha. See, so yeah, there's no way I would have done this by myself. I'm not gonna lie to you. I would always recommend, like, always tell people, like, when it comes to fueling, electrical, or brakes, <laughs> I'll let someone else do it. <laughs> like, brakes changing, changing pads and rotors, I can do. When it comes to fluid and lines, no. Nope. Oh, uh, we're opening up the goodness now. The Walbro 525. Take a razor blade to it. Ah! <laughs> Oh, wow, so it's just a collar. Oh. Yeah, so like... Oh, so that's the holder for it. Yeah. Wow. It locks into the factory. Mount clip. Mount clip. Menu. Uh-huh. All right, guys. So he has a fuel pump here. We're actually just... He just actually cut out a notch, which is right here part of the instructions so i believe this is step 21 he actually went ahead and cut a notch here and the reason for that is so he could fit the adapter for the warbo 525 and then no fuel this, pump. this was for the oil uh, uh not the, the oil for, for the i know oil goes in it <laughs> for the sender unit send it sender unit the send it unit yeah for the level fuel level okay oh okay cool well that's how it sits yeah. okay Oh, so these are spacers. Yeah. Because this is thicker. Yeah. Ah, oh, see now, now, okay. Now, now it's making sense to me because I didn't know what he was talking about before. I'm like, why do they have those? Okay, so that makes sense. So now you're just assembling everything. Yeah. Okay. Felipe was having an issue with um, number 21. When it came to cutting down, it says to cut up to here. But when you install the kit, you know, it actually has- the, the spacers? You, yeah, the, the spacers. So the spacers, 
this would they, they don't tell you to cut this piece off which is weird so it sits up high but when you put the spacer in the bolt can't reach it from the from the top, from the top. so we just cut we just cut it down and it is the same length so we don't have to worry about like height issues or anything like that or clearance issues but so felipe like if you guys are doing this yourself you might just have to trim a little extra so see here where it has like the the blue diagram right here you see this little tip right next to it see the way another bolt will go in here you would just take that out you would just cut that in half as well along with this um so this way you'll be able to make that to size and you'll be able to get everything to spec but they're the same height though hmm? oh yeah so so this is another issue so if we could see if we see here you see how like again this this stand right here or the spacer it only goes up to here because obviously it ends right there but the bolts are not long enough to reach the other side of it so you really can't do anything besides cut this too but they don't tell you that in the instructions um so just keep in mind well well maybe it does stay in there. <laughs> so felipe is going to trim that down as well um and we should be good stay in it is hold on it stayed in just like two threads oh it stayed in like two threads yeah. So I guess it's really Okay, I mean it's it's just a, it's just to hold it, right? Yeah. So okay. Yeah. I mean can can it get sucked into the No. No. So cool. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go back to a time lapse real quick. So Felipe can go ahead and finish this up. So don't, don't, don't put it in, in the, uh, I was gonna say, maybe you don't have to cut it. Maybe you just have to take one thread. Yeah. And this one you have to I mean, it doesn't matter anyway if we anyway, cut it yeah, or not. Yeah. So it's not a big deal. No. So I'm gonna let I'm gonna go back to time lapse with this, so Felipe can go ahead and finish up this. And there you go. So Felipe now is setting the connectors. Switching, man. I thought he was, was doing a dance. I was like, hey, hey, get it. <laughs> Drill off these wires right here and he's going to connect them together using those bud connectors, uh, to uh, which he needs to find, which he lost. Why'd you lose them? Fuck it. What? No. <laughs> okay. Hey, there we go. Hey, he like found him. Oh, I was <laughs> So after this, he's gonna go ahead and go back into the gas tank and put it back in and seal everything up, and then it's pretty, it's pretty much like it's, it's an install. You don't need too much. You just um, you just have to modify stuff. Yeah. So this is a bit too The only hard part was yeah to break the the, the well stop yeah for the oil and pump. Like mm -hmm. that was the only hard part. But they give you the drill piece. So okay, it's and this fine. is the fuel leveling right here, right? Yeah, that's the weight. Yeah. Okay. So you have the, the, the notch that we did earlier in the video, it was, you see here? So it clears, because the pump is higher up. Oh, right? okay, so gotcha. So it clears. So my, my fuel tank, my my uh, my gauge won't act really silly. Yeah. Don't get stuck. Hey, we did into fuel here. You yeah, that's, that's, huh? I'm not. You did it with... <laughs> You look like you had a hard day. <laughs> then I got a new tune. Are you ready? Yep. Got the tune. Um, I got it? my laptop and my car access port here. We'll flash the car. We'll put everything back together. And then uh, I think only thing that Felipe has to modify, we have to move that A bar sensor, A um, AM sensor, and oh. because the intake won't fit. But we'll figure it out. Intake. No, I love my Carbon Fiber intake. I love my Forge Motorsport intake. I love you guys, Forge Motorsport. All right. So Felipe's going ahead and let's see my tank. Look at that beauty right there. Mm. Oh God. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> a little too strong there. That's only shell, baby. Only about the best. 
I only use nothing but Shell V Power 93. But ever since we put this Walbro 525 pump, now we're going to be running a beautiful little 85 mixture when we uh, start data logging and tuning and stuff. Don't mind all the GoPro stuff and jack. <laughs> I had to use the jack to get the car in the air so I could take the bumper off. So he's putting that back in the tank now. Now, one thing that we have to watch out for, I mean, it should be fine because the tune should pretty much take care of the uh, voltage problem. Did that disconnect? What? Never mind. The uh, disconnector right there. This? Yeah. This is the, the feed. Hold on. I'm an idiot. <laughs> This is why you're doing it and I'm not. <laughs> there we go. So that seal went in there perfectly fine? The seal went in perfectly fine? Yeah. Cool. You know how weird I am. I just... Did you... When you took it out, did you have to... Ooh, that was your knee that just did that? No, it was the... Oh, I thought your knee did that. I'm like, oh my God. that sometimes. <laughs> So, so pretty much now, when you took it out, did you have to take a screwdriver, like bang it out? A chisel. <laughs> a chisel. Just be careful to not hit the plastic. Because you don't want to break the crack, crack yeah. the plastic. So just be careful and like gentle. Because it will turn regardless. Yeah. Just gentle tap it. See mm -hmm. the, the, like it's a little higher than this one here. Yeah. They have this have to make like have a little hump. Oh, here. it has that stopper at yeah, the end of it. To, yeah, you have to hit it to the left. Oh, okay, thing. gotcha. All right. All right. So he connected everything back. Yeah. So. And it doesn't smell like fill anymore. It's a good sealant. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just gonna leave it open so we can. Aaron, yeah. And check for leaks. Yep. Check everything's Gucci. Okay. Well, guys, that concludes the video for the uh, installation of the Precision Raceworks Walbro 525 fuel pump kit. If you did like this video, make sure that you give it a thumbs up. All will make, also, make sure that you like, share, and subscribe to JR14. And you guys always remember, when we got more fuel, more boost, more fuel, more power, you guys always remember that cars are a lifestyle. Take care.